Okay, so this is my HAF Coolmaster High Airflow, is what that stands for. Uh, basically, what we got here is a compilation of mods that I've done to this case. Uh, Alright, basically, I got a water cooling system here with a fan controller, and I have light switches that I've just installed here using a typical Dremel drill, um, three, three quarter inch holes, uh, basically went through the plastic and the case inside. Um, they're blue to match the blue lights on the front here, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. On and off switches control three different sets of lights. Uh, one of the set is a cold cathode on the side, one set is a cold cathode on the bottom, there's two of them, two each, two pairs. And then the third set, or the third light, is um, a UV light inside, of just above there, to activate the UV properties inside the cooling. Um, okay, so next, I'm going to talk about another mod, is the hinge mod, this side. Uh, basically, I installed this some time ago, where the hinges are right there. The lighting. Okay, so now they're all off. Um, bottom one controls the UV light, as seen by that little guy right there. It's supposed to activate the UV properties in the coolant, but I'm thinking about just reworking that, um, creating some kind of Molex connection, and then inserting a different kind of lighting device for my third al uh, alternative lighting source. Um, but I'm going to keep all the main wiring intact for this, this switch. The other two switches are pretty cool. Uh, the bottom, this middle one is for the bottom lighting. At night this is very, very nice. Creates a nice um, skirt of light. It's red. The main, you know, front lights, the fan controller, the four fan controllers, the power and reset, uh, these two hard drive activity and power lights are blue and these are blue too. So I've got kind of a dual color combination going on here. Top light is the interior light. And that really, really shines in more way than one more ways than one. Um not it's not UV in per se, but it goes right through that red fluid and really makes it pop. So here's the interior of the case with the lights on demonstrate how they've been anchored. Most of these wires are very flush. We got the inverter right here, the other inverters right here. Um, basically those wires collapse. It's pretty low profile. Dim on the inside, and just a skirt. No skirt, just interior lights. And alternatively, just go with UV, or yeah, perhaps going to go with some kind of puck, maybe a multi light pulsating thing. Alternatively, totally off. Um, it's a very quiet case, very pleased with it. This is my final mod that I've put in, aside from the initial uh, hinge mod. Now, a side note here is I've, I've also done a, another mod. It was early on when I bought this case. I noticed that it came with wheels, but the wheels it came with were very, very cheap. And we're talking the plastic crap wheels that come on most, uh, you know, these little uh, these Tupperware things or whatever they're called. They have these little plastic wheels. Very cheap. Uh, I went to Home Depot and I bought these guys here. They got nice ball bearings. Very solid. I don't got locks on them, but there's four of them. Very nice. So yeah, so technically three mods here. And with the water cooling, it's just a beast. Well, that's my that's my demonstration of the HAF Coolmaster. And I hope you enjoyed this.